we go. Uh, what would you like me to put in, Chris? What's your hilarious name? Uh, ba, ha, ha, long. Uh, ba. Uh, ba, long. Long. Abalon. Abalong is not a bad name. If, yeah, like, if I was named that, I would like not. That's like an RPG name. It's biblical. I would not resent my parents. What should I put? Do you? No. Me? No. No. No, he says no. No. Okay. No. None. You have your own beliefs. No. No. Clearly not. Oh. <laughs> You don't want sad things to happen. Poor little rat. Let no bad happen. Uh, Julian, stop. No, I thought that was your answer. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're killing it. Julian, save it. You can save many. You should try. Okay, yes. Okay. That's oh, what Thanos we'll, we'll said. Well, you messed up because that's only one. Mm. That's not many. That's true. Uh, There's something you regret. Do you regret anything, Chris? Yep. Yes. Well... I regret everything. Well, that's an oopsie. This is fucked, dude. Why is he doing this? Uh, what would you say? Uh, uh more important things that exist. No. 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 What? That's why this rat should be killed, should be saved. Should be saved! Save the rat! Save the rat! Oh, it's too late! What's happening? You get to see all his insides. Yeah, there's all of his candy. Julie, you personally hate humans. I personally hate humans, yes. So do hate. Okay. So do hate. <laughs> Julian, this art style mm -hmm. looks like your art style. Thank you. I like it a lot. Yeah. Uh, I would have been mad about this game. Uh, what? Not to... Not what? to not <laughs> <laughs> what? I, I Why? No, as in, I would have loved it. I would have oh. been crazy about it, is what I mean oh, to I say. I thought you were like, leading into a thing of, but... No, as it's in when shit. I was a when I was a kid, uh, I would have really liked this game. This would have been one of okay. my favorites. Uh, the perfect I... night for a curse. <laughs> and a dog outside. Can we go outside and put down the dog? Yeah. Yeah. Why didn't just he... like the rat? Yeah. Why didn't he get cut open? We'll pin him down. Uh, we're in Cheese Afterlife. This is where Cheese goes to die. <laughs> What's happening? Uh, and uh, and she says that he has one more chance to uh, get something he wants. Who is she? Which is represented by cheese. It's very intuitive. You see, rats like cheese. R rats Cartoons like cheese. Me. So when you go to rat heaven, it's full of cheese. And what are other things that rats enjoy? Uh, mm -hmm. Meat. Fucking, presumably. Fucking meat. Okay, so penises, cheese. Um, That's gross. <laughs> penis cheese. <laughs> He's standing Poor in a rat. I feel skin. bad for him. Look at how miserable. Yeah, he, he doesn't is. want to be here. It yeah. probably smells awful. This is pathetic. So this is the afterlife? Mm hmm That's nice. Chris, you're going to go here when you die. <laughs> I don't want to. Go to hell before you die. <laughs> I'd rather go to a place that had more than cheese. Even like, if it was like... What would you want? Anything. If, if everything's just one thing, you'll just inherently get sick of it. If it was cheese well, your and afterlife, lava. your afterlife has to be one thing. So what? What's it gonna be? Um, flashlights. <laughs> like so, it's this landscape, but everything has <laughs> yeah has a little, little rubber vaginas on it. And some of them have mouths with tongues that go. <laughs> <laughs> They're motorized. Yeah, you can hear servos whirring. <laughs> there's there's one switch on the entire planet you have to find. Oh no! <laughs> Damn it! Julian, concentrate. I'm trying! You're trying to listen to the beat of the street. We need this read. Listen to the rhythm. Sing the song. The rhythm of defeat. Was that from Killer Instinct? Yes. That's a good song. Mm -hmm. The Arthur theme song? I think that did come from <laughs> Killer Instinct. <laughs> no, you know what I'm talking about. Isn't there a song in Killer Instinct that's like... You're talking about... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which one you're talking about. Fuck. Uh, are you thinking of the way you move? Yes, I love that yeah. song. They brought it back in the new one. It plays during the credits, which is nice. That's nice. The new one has some pretty good music. What does the L stick do? Uh, you go farther if you're holding in the direction. Ah. Mm -hmm. Should you not be holding it all the time then? Uh, it depends. There's levels later on where, like, you want to get a specific distance yeah. or timing. This is neat. I like this game a lot. Yeah, it's, it's really, really cool. buggy. It does have flaws, but I, I, I'm in love with the, the story, and it's a really cool idea anyway. Hmm. Uh, as a game. Did it do well? I wonder. 
I've I seen people talk not. about it, but I don't know how well it Why did. Why is he not jumping? Okay. Because you're supposed to do it that way. Who wrote the music? Uh, a few people. They have like five different artists. Mm -hmm. There's Music Musicston. <laughs> uh, Beats Enormous. <laughs> Japani McEDM. <laughs> Beats McNormous is the best. <laughs> It's a shame he had all that controversy. Yeah. <laughs> but beating his children enormously. <laughs> oh no. All he does is beat things. <laughs> With his enormous hands. <laughs> That's what makes him so good at playing music. <laughs> uh, I'm just imagining a big Chris Boars kind of a guy with mallets. I just imagine hands. like mallets or something. <laughs> He's got mallets for hands. <laughs> How does he fucking make music? With his mallet hands. He has a huge piano that he hits the keys with. And he was really inspirational at first. Everybody said, like, oh, you know, this guy, he's up and coming. And he said, there's music everywhere. But then he started testing the limits of that by beating his children, beating no, everybody. Have they haven't given me the wall jump yet. Never mind, I hate this game. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this game is actually maybe not good. Dude, is that a cockroach? Where? There. Where? The, no, never mind. Wait, zoom in. Baby Where be. on the screen? There. Top right? Yes. I don't see it. You're making me look stupid. Everyone's making fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> the real-time comments are coming in and they're not good. <laughs> Show me more of what you can do. Uh, yeah, Julian. You're kind of letting us down here. I sure am. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. I didn't mean to put you on the spot. I didn't mean to upset you. I didn't mean to trigger you. You're making this rat so mad! Jeez, what a move to make. The idea of, fine, I give up! And as yeah. you're walking away, they go, Oh, by the way, you can actually do this. Yeah. I just took the control away I from you. I never understood that. Don't do that to people. But you know, that's what Professor Oak does. It's true. He's a real piece of he shit. He steals your money. He steals your mom. <laughs> he steals everything from you. Steals and then you have to get DNA, a bag. He creates Pokemon with it. He won't let you use the start button anymore. That would be the greatest Pokemon ever. <laughs> it, one he, that's based on you. No, if, if he stole Ash's DNA and made a Pokemon out of Ash, it's just a tiny little Ash. It should be that the Game Boy takes a little piece of your skin. That's an idea they haven't done yet, so they gotta get on that. <laughs> Put it in the next, uh, the Switch, the Switch U or whatever they're gonna do. The Switch U? The, the, the Switch, switch him up? Oh, here's a fun trick. Just... You can use that button too, now that, you know, I'm letting you. Thank you for making me think of Anakin. <laughs> That's a neat trick. Yeah. Why do you love Little Anakin so much? I don't know. I don't. I haven't even seen that movie since I was like 11 or whatever year it was. It feels like a cheesy scene you'd see in like an 80s cartoon or something. Are you I'm sure the, that's the, the delivery on the line. I mean, that's kind of it. intentional, is yeah, it not? Yeah, I that, think it is. Yeah. Like Star Wars is based on Flash Gordon anyway. I gotta wonder how uh, he wrote a scene where a boy pushes a button instead of a thing. It brings him up to the thing where everything's happening. Then he blows up the thing where everything's happening and he saves the day all on his own. Uh, That's how it's actually scripted. It says, child pushes the thing that goes into the thing that destroys the thing. <laughs> so you've only got one day to live? Yep. That mm -hmm. sucks. What do you think he wants to do with his life? Die. Well, he's already done that. I mean, he apparently didn't have his own beliefs based on the options you chose. If I was him, I'd want to kill the guy that killed me. That would be really... That would be silly. That would be really pessimistic of you, I think. I don't care. Ugh, so what? People I'm think I'm pessimistic out, for wanting to kill the guy who killed me. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'll kill you too. I don't <laughs> care. Oh, revenge bad. Ugh. Kill everyone. Revenge feeds into the cycle of violence. I don't care. I didn't start it. I'll Homie kill Dick you. was a real dick. <laughs> Fuck him. If someone kills your mother and your whole family, you should let them get away with it. <laughs> I'm sorry that uh Would you chase after the storm cloud <laughs> rhino? Yeah. Oh the storm cloud rhino. Yeah, kill the rhino. One day a big rhino killed his mother for no reason. I hate it. Why is there a storm cloud rhino anyway? <laughs> I don't know. It's a strange decision. Guys, we're talking about James and the giant rhino in the sky that eats mm -hmm. his mother. It's okay. related. It's not like it's totally out of left field. I mean, you're right. If James had one day left to live, what do you think he'd yeah, do? Yeah, exactly. I think that movie's boring. That's just me. An angel came down and said, a giant storm cloud rhino killed you. What's your favorite scene in Charlie in the Chocolate Factory? Uh, the scene where when, he... Where he choked on the chocolate. <laughs> he does do that. I, uh, I like the scene where Willy Wonka has his first candy. That is another very relatable thing. I find this game very relatable. Mm. And I, I like a lot about 
that movie. We watched it. I don't know if we talked Can about it. Can you relate already. to being on a cheese planet? Yeah. Charlie and the Cheese Planet. That's the that's Willy the Wonka sequel. is upset with how Charlie's running the factory and sends him to the Cheese Planet. After a great glass elevator, after they blow up the... <laughs> punishment. After they blow up the hotel, they send him to Cheese Planet. And then the, the narration of Oompa Loompa says, And so, Charlie was sent to the Cheese Planet, where he died after 40 hours. The end. 40. Why that? Why so specific? It was just, it just lined up. Like he tried eating cheese, got dehydrated, and then he didn't last very long. <laughs> so you thought this out, the whole process of dying from all the cheese? I was just being scientific with it. I was trying to be more real with it. I don't know. We can't let him live. <gasps> A rat after my own heart. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> he made me his lab rat his whole life. That's not your fault. That's your fault for being born a lab rat. I can't accept that. I'm going to do it. Uh, give me one day. Let me do it over. Let me fulfill my wish to kill the humans. This little rat just wants to murder. If I was in, oh my god, that's cool. That's your heart, Chris. It's the heartless. All right, little rat, listen carefully. See this heart clock? You turn back time by rewinding it. It's very stylish, yeah. Now turn back the clock to this morning. Look at you go, Julian. But just remember. You can turn that back. That it's only the time. beginning. To the good But it's days. also the end. With some deeply blue. Okay, one time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought you read it. <laughs> when you have a meaningful way to spend your life. All right, then. Have a nice day. He's going to die no matter what, is all it's telling you. Julian, sing. Will you have a nice day? Your man is in him. He's going to die. There you go. Wake up, Julian. Wake up, wake up. I'm awake. Shakes Wake Julian up. awake. His pompadour falls off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you still a gross rat? Yeah. Why are you still gross? I thought they were going to turn you into a human. You didn't look like this at the start. What? I thought I died. Good thing I didn't. I'm going to get out of this nasty old cage. Look at him there go. he goes. Oh, oh my uh, god. How did you do that? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? I did it. I got out. Huh, it's a lot easier than I thought it'd be. I'm going to keep this up and make my wish come true. I, with this power that I got from the Rat God. Now give me a beat. A beat? Like this? No! And Thanks. then it cycles through a bunch of other songs. <laughs> He's getting his wish. Julian, please fucking fuck this human up. Yeah, let's go get some revenge. This is cool. Now what are these green Doritos? Uh, there's little munching sounds when you eat them, so I assume they're supposed to be, uh, cheese. God, it is hard to put, to talk while I'm playing yeah. this. Uh, Chris handed over the controller earlier. Yeah, I was like, I can't play and talk at the same time. Guys, there's Let's Play rules. Mm -hmm. Rule number one. Always play a game Belch that sucks loudly dick. into the microphone. Belch number two. <laughs> Rule two. Dye your hair yellow, or blue, or red, or green. Number uh, three. Munch a lot. Munch, burp, shit yourself. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <just> yourself. <laughs> uh, uh, insult the audience. Insult the audience. No, that's my bit. Okay. Um, Do your bit. Fuck you. There you go. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> that's the interactive segment. Now leave a comment about how you felt about that. That was pretty good. I think this is the ideal Let's Play. We got figured out. Okay, talking guys, over we're looking for game. new hosts because Ding Dong and Julian are dying slowly but surely. As we all are. Send in your application forms and Julian will review them all. You get to choose how we die. <laughs> What's the, the email address they gotta send them to? Uh, onidies at gmail.com. One of the coolest things we could do is we could uh, we could buy an RV, right? Mm -hmm. And run us over. And we could drive like into little shitty towns. Mm hmm. And, uh, and we can put up posters that say, we're looking for a funny man. And we'll go town to town looking for a funny man. And then what are you going to do with said funny man? Bring him into the RV and we'll record something really horrible. <laughs> <laughs> What's the horrible thing you're going to record? We're going to murder is the implication. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> something real bad. It, okay, so I think that's fair. If they're funny enough, we'll hire them to be the new host. And if they suck, we'll just kill them. But that's illegal, isn't it? But, yeah, sort of drugs, but you still do it. It's legal. You still do math, right? It's all legal. You have never done math, I no. promise. No, I haven't. Why not? 
Are you not cool? Justify your decision. I don't, um, mm -hmm. because I don't have a response. Okay, well, I can give you some good reasons to do math. That okay. seems dangerous. It makes your teeth less uh, boring. <laughs> yeah, you'll be more unique. <laughs> <laughs> you get to be extra funny. You get to look so zany. It makes you quicker. Mm -hmm. makes because you... you're constantly shaking. It makes you, yeah, you're constantly vibrating with motion. Hey guys, I got a really funny idea for a game parody. What if you implied that Sonic was on drugs? Why would Sonic be on drugs? The clear answer is Mario is on drugs. I've got a good Sonic parody no one's done. Mm -hmm. He's collecting all the rings because he wants to ask Amy Rose to marry him four million times. <laughs> so he can fuck her four million times without going to hell. Or maybe, like, he runs really fast into something, and they go, Whoa, Sonic, if you had slowed down, you probably wouldn't, you wouldn't have ran into that thing. And he goes, Gee, you're right. I guess I'm kind of, like, careless, and I run too fast. But Sonic doesn't do that because he's so cool that he knows what's coming. So that just does that doesn't make it doesn't add up, okay? Um, hmm. what's the ideal Sonic parody? What would you say? Um, what are easy Sonic jokes? Um, his feet smell. A joke about him drowning. Yeah, he drowns. <laughs> uh, don't you're just gonna scare Ula Lilia. Ula <laughs> Lilia. <laughs> oh no. Well, you, we get to show off a mechanic. I, I you can rewind when you fuck up. Splatted. Well, you can turn back time. The good old days. I'm trying to think what else you could even make Sonic jokes out of. Something involving rings. Eggman. Eggman, Eggman is Eggman, a joke. Eggman. He's the Steve Jobs of the Sonic world. <laughs> there you go. There's your parody. Instead of the Apple iPhone, he makes the Eggman eye egg. Guys, easy content for you. <laughs> Google search any presentation Steve Jobs has had, but then just put Eggman over it. Put a mustache on him. <laughs> on Eggman. <laughs> A little, uh, a little curly mustache over his big one. Okay, here's a parody. Mm -hmm. uh, Knuckles, Garden of Emerald. Big Emerald. Uh huh. There uh, he is. He leans back on it, and it falls off the mountain and slides down and gets stuck in an exhaust pipe of a car driving by. <laughs> and it uh -huh. powers the car up so hard that it blasts into Sonic, killing him instantly. Now, where's, where's the parody element <laughs> to it? <laughs> It's a parody in the same way that all those parodies are that Chris showed us last night. Uh, that it's a parody because you referenced a thing that exists. There's no actual joke. Mm -hmm. Here's a pretty good parody. Uh, try just, you know, taking Sonic the Hedgehog 1 for the Sega Genesis and repackaging and selling it. Okay, but that's then, a parody. But put text on it that says it's a parody. Uh, cite the Fair Use Act on the back of the box, and now it's your property. <laughs> Oh, it's our dogs. Look at him. He's shaped like a heart. I wish he didn't have gloves. Why I wish not? it was just a heart with an eye. Aren't I cute? I wish he was a heart and he had two little stick figure legs. My heart can't talk and is cute. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Chris. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little thing stuck. You got some nerve showing up like this. Can you just go away already? Huh? How could you say that to your heart? Have you gone mad? Do you You're like some kind of mad rat. You're a mad man. <laughs> Have I gone dead? You're a mad man. Julian, what are those potions for? Uh, I don't know. I don't work in pharmaceuticals. That's rat serum. It turns you into a rat. I like that they give you a little bit of time to get used to the beat before yeah, you yeah, start yeah, to yeah. That's, that, yeah. That's a good idea. I can't believe Hart's beat was written by that guy. By Isao After all he's Mas done, Masaukis. he still got it. Ah! Do you like foreground elements? I like foreground. That obscure your vision? I do, actually. I recognize why it's a bad idea in terms of game design, but I, uh, I like... You can make it work. I like that it gives you a bit of challenge and that it's like, oh, you better be paying attention to what you're doing. Uh, and, I, and I like that it, it also makes the world feel more like... Uh, uh, immersive to have to use a, a internet like game talk term. Do I you feel immersed right now? This little rat. I kinda, about... I'm immersed as Julian. What if we take out the gameplay? That way, no one will make a mistake. <laughs> it's a really good game design philosophy. Isn't it? <laughs> Thank you. I did a whole video on it. I would like them to make more games like this where you're just doing shit to the beat. I mean, there's also a uh, Necro Dancer, which I think kind of kicked that off. Yeah, I, I, they're very similar in terms yeah. of 
I tried Necro Dancer and I couldn't get into it. My thing with it is I want a little bit more than just do like actions to the beat because if you took out the beat element, it's just kind of a standard game then. Mm -hmm. I'd hope some things could also be properly timed to the music, visual cues, little things. I would Other like mechanics. them, you know, you know Revenge of Shinobi? Mm -hmm. I wish you could time everything to the beat in that game. That game's gotten such fun music. Sega Genesis, in general, I really like audio on it when Me people too. take full advantage of it. There's it some really good soundtracks. Crazy. Did you see the guy on YouTube who, who took a bunch of uh, Sega Genesis? I don't know, maybe he only took one actually, but he made it into a giant synth. It's fucking Ooh, cool. that's cool. Yeah, that's yeah. good. There's so many musical options. Uh, making use of game consoles. It had a really nice crispy like Yeah, that's the thing. It's really clear. Yeah. Uh, if you listen to like the Earthworm Jim soundtrack, for example, the drum samples are super crisp on the Genesis by comparison. Everything was somehow. God, I loved being a kid. Playing my Sega. What else did you do? Um I drew a lot of pictures of like the cartoons Sega. getting beheaded and stuff. Oh. Who has yeah. I was a problem child, I'll admit it. <laughs> Did you ever get in trouble for, like, drawing violent things? No, in fact... Did they ever find your animations? No, uh, okay. I used to draw violent things and everyone would be like, That rocks! And they, they literally, I'd have, uh, like, kids and their parents being like, Can you draw us one of those? It's then pretty... he got called in by Aww. the principal and they said, Okay, Christopher. No, nobody cares. You're really... not, you're These not drawing... drawing enough violent things. <laughs> Nobody gave a shit. It was really this, weird. This comic you did, where this man's head gets exploded after getting hit in the balls, this is really good stuff. I think so my is... son, I need you to do something for me. My son has been a real piece of shit lately. <laughs> if you could gonna... come up with something really elaborate, have you been ever contracted like that? Uh, not in a long time. Not to my knowledge. Yeah, I don't remember. Ask me things about my childhood and I'll see if I can remember anything. Uh, did you ever get hit by a car? Uh, <laughs> did no. you ever die? Did you ever get hit by a bike? Uh, no. Did what? you ever get hit by um, an animal moving at a reasonably fast pace? Yes, a dog fucking, like, destroyed me one time. I was at my friend's house and his dog ran into my lower legs and just fucking, like, trashed me into the ground. It wasn't even a big dog either. He was just going at, like... He's just a little tiny one? He was going at 100 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Did yeah, you run back into him? He had a lot of little jetpack on you, you didn't notice. I remember being really mad that everyone was laughing and not helping me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so that sounds reasonable to me. Yeah. Nothing's funnier than seeing a kid get wiped out, except maybe seeing a big giant child getting wiped out by a meteor. <laughs> it's like 50 Using tall. a grow ray gun on a child, making them larger so then you can push them down and they fall harder. <laughs> Nothing beats that. Uh, the shrink ray. I hate the human who used me. Wait, this is just The Last of Us 2. This is all mm -hmm. about revenge. Shinobi's about revenge. Yeah, but... But... It's also about saving your girlfriend. And Spider-Man. Spider and it's also about Batman. You don't know, maybe the rat's gonna get a girlfriend. He better. <laughs> has there ever been a superhero that is a big rat? Mm-hmm. I'm sure there has been. Rat-man. But has there been a superhero that is literally half-man, half-rat? Uh, like it's human legs and a tiny little rat body. <laughs> the the amazing, incredible human rat hybrid. Oh, oh. They're, they're cute. Yeah, I like their dopey faces. They're all used and abused for experiments. They seem all right. You're gonna make them your accomplice. Yeah, they look like they're having a good time. You can do that. We're gonna try. Hey, can you hear me or not? <laughs> look at him go. You pissed them off, Julian. Yeah, he was trying to sleep. All those experiments took a toll. There's gonna be some stupid twist at the end of this. The human was no, trying to No, I'm pretty sure it's just you. a mundane interaction. Hmm. <laughs> Never mind, Dad. I broke out of my cage just now. What for? Because I was dying from boredom and anger. Weren't you too? No, I'm busy and I'm having fun. <laughs> <laughs> what? What the fuck? But I'm mad about shit! Can't you see? I'm running in my wheel now. This guy seems really happy. <laughs> we need to this change is ridiculous. this. ridiculous. <laughs> it's so true. This is society. We're all useful idiots. Hey, you. Wait a minute. You're being too rude. What do you mean? You need their help, right? Be more polite. So shut up. Who cares? I'm going to go now. Do you like how sassy he looks? <laughs> <laughs> oh. You seem like you're having fun by yourself. No, I'm talking to him. Him? Who are you even talking about? Oh, uh, I'm gonna go. 
Julian, why are you acting like this? Um, I wow. ask myself that every day. <laughs> You're being incredibly awkward right now. It's creeped out because I was talking to you. You don't think you could see me? Of course not. You're a hallucination. There's no way a heart can talk. I'm no hallucination. It gives you a heart attack. <laughs> Does this feel inanimate to you? Hey! You there! Come with me. Let's get out of here. Oh, what are we getting out for? To get revenge on the human by killing him. Why couldn't killing... Wouldn't the killing the human mean no safety? You're not getting it. You will regret it when you die. Well, if I stay here, I won't die. Forget it. <laughs> Scared you rat. Yeah, fuck you, pussy. That's really fun, isn't it? You shouldn't go outside. Going to a dangerous place and dying. It's more foolish than being killed by humans. Would you agree, Chris? Nah, these guys just suck. I'm on I'm on the protagonist side. What are you doing? Oh, yeah, I, are you I, doing? I, I didn't know the cutscene I didn't know the cutscene was over. That's how you spent your final day. <laughs> these guys are a bunch of scaredy rats. Oh come on, you got me. It's fine. Killing the human is my wish. I can't do it all by myself. Listen up, all of you. I'm not like you pieces of trash. I'm gonna kill him and get out of this wretched place. You can all stay here and be used by that stupid human. Until you die, even. I like his eyes just being kind of like half open. Yeah, like, I do yeah, too. Yeah, He's okay. got really good expressions. <laughs> I love this character. I'm leaving! I should have told them I feel great. <laughs> I don't need losers like them. <laughs> he shrugs. What do you think of this game so far, Chris? It's fun, isn't it? I like the story, too. It's very uh, Thank realistic. Thank you, Ahisa. This is the every story where a guy's trying to warn everybody and it's always too late because everyone's a lazy fat piece of shit. Unlike me who knows and does everything. <laughs> it is right about everything. <laughs> Pretty good. So I'm guessing this is an indie game, right? Uh, uh, you know what? I don't remember actually. I know it's published by Yeah, Nikanichi. it's like distributed by Yeah. But uh, I don't know who made it. It yeah. feels like an indie game, but it's really good. I hope they get to do a follow-up, because there are still... Fix the problems, yeah, yes. Yeah, it's still very sloppy in a lot of ways, but it's a really good start. It's a good concept. I like the music a lot. I like the art style. I like the story. The backgrounds are really beautiful. Those are real. Oh. This is a real place. Now I see. Making pipes is the easiest thing to do in 3D. I, I was hoping you were going to say in real life. That too. <laughs> you simply buy a pipe factory and make them. <laughs> Making your own sewer system is very easy. It's just people don't try to do it too often. <laughs> Chris, yeah? by any chance, did you ever play a game called Schizo Frenzy no. on the Adult Swim website? Nuh-uh. Uh, this game reminds me of it a lot. That it's like a, a, a guy. It's a platformer where you have to like avoid hallucination creatures. That's cool. I was just curious. No, I never heard of it. Adult Swim somehow makes a lot of really good games. Yeah, they do. I always it's think it's about... A, it's not specifically Adult Swim yeah. obviously makes them, They but... just, like, they fund people yeah. who know what they're doing a they lot. They find good people. Yeah. I remember there was one on their website way back called House of Dead Ninjas that I couldn't stop playing. It was no, really fun. fuck! I, I love uh, Rain World and I love Cream Wolf. I was wondering if you were going to bring up Cream Wolf. That seems like the most popular one. It was so fun and it had so much, like, personality and soul. Oh, like the movie. Yeah. I saw Soul. Oh my god, I fucking hated it. Have you I'm seen Soul? I'm not surprised. Yeah, it, looked really, it. it looked really banal to me. No, but here's the thing. Oh, look, they it got starts the off on the, the, bus. the very beginning. I was like, this is actually pretty good. That's a very consistent reaction that I get from Disney movies. Especially Pixar. I, uh... I start out the movie being like, oh shit, this is brilliant, and then like by the yeah. end I'm like, you ruined it. No, yeah, no, like, when I saw the ads, I was like, that looks so fucking bad. And then I, I saw like the first ten minutes where he's talking about like, playing piano, and, and he's like, you know, talking about how much he loves playing, playing piano, and you're like, oh, this guy's pretty, pretty good. I like this guy. And then, you know the whole premise and shit, right? You've yeah. seen it? I haven't seen it, but I, I, I know and I can guess what it is. Okay, so he, he dies, right? I know he has that cute little sidekick character, and my guess is, oh, there's some kind of conflict about, oh, they, they, they he wants to be alive again, and yeah. they switch bodies. And yes, the it's the most predictable shit yeah, ever. But the worst part is, is that uh, they, they both get back to Earth, right? And he's, he's just in the body of the cat for the rest of the film. It's like, oh, oh so this is going to be a guy and a cat now, the movie. Cool. Fucking love it. 
Anything that wasn't him in the cat's body was actually pretty good. Is that actually what happens? He's a cat for half the movie? But yeah, it's oh. like so annoying. It's like, I don't fucking care. That's not the- that's not what had me invested. What had me invested was like, the rest of the story. Does he still play piano as a cat? No. Post it to the internet? Yeah, become a big hit? A, maybe. That would've been a good joke, actually. I, I just get really frustrated watching movies where the characters are just acting ridiculous for no fucking reason and nobody's- For the convenience of the yeah, plot. Yeah, for the convenience, exactly. It's like, okay, fucking- oh, Come on. But whatever. It did look very beautiful at points. I'm sure it did. I mean, Disney movies are always gonna look nice. Yeah. I, I think it would've been better as like a 30 minute film. Like but, a short movie? But no one's ever gonna do those now, are they? I miss shorts. I do too. I like shorts a lot. You, that's the whole point of them, is you don't have to like spend time building up all this extra shit just to pad out the time. It's also an environment where people with like less of a budget can still work and yeah. make something. Uh, more concise storytelling. Plus it's a good area for experimentation too. Different visual styles. At least the cat was one of those like... Fat, stupid looking cats. Oh, which kind? Um... It's just that every time I see a cat in something, it's always just a really cute cat. This was a really fat, ugly cat. Because it's supposed to be, I'm sure, I'm sure, like, oh, it's isn't it embarrassing that he's in the body of a cat? Yeah. And he goes, oh, how humiliating. <laughs> he starts blushing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, mad rat. What, what, if there's what? A, what if there's a mad what do you cat? Want? <laughs> just how? Oh, sorry. <laughs> he says, how do you think you're going to kill the human? I need the chance. Julian, you should voice the rat. Your voice suits him better. You really think so? Yeah. That's the most nice thing anybody's ever said to me. <laughs> it's true. I'll be the heart. That sounds hard. <laughs> Don't worry, get going already. Oh. Uh, and you're fucking dead. <laughs> nice job, Julian. No, he was just giving you a new BGM. BGM? Mm-hmm. Here's a good rat song. I'm a rat. I'm a rat. <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That was the original working uh, theme song for the game. Like how they have the scat version of the Sonic Heroes opening. I love for that. the prototype. Yeah. I can't believe he put me back in my fucking cage. Where did he get these gloves? I don't know, but they suit him very nicely. I yeah. don't know if I like this game anymore. They didn't explain that. Let's take a slow Mad Rat. I love Mad Rat. He's a real likable little fella. Hey, hey, you. Yeah, you. Get the fuck. Get the fuck. Move ye butt. Can't you hear me? Get the fuck! <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> he just realized they're stupid. <laughs> what is it? Something's wrong. Something feels off. Oh no, the experiments have made them stupid. But I shrugged it off. Huh? What are you doing here? Hey. Why did you come back? Don't ask. What's it to you? Hey, you seem different than earlier. <laughs> like your eyes are going in different directions. Something seems off. Who seems off? Your visible friend, you mean? No, you! Mad rat? Let's go. Why are they being so mean to you, Julian? I don't know. It really pisses me I off. I wonder what's going on. Hey! Hey! Were you able to k kill the human? Something's wrong with you guys. <laughs> you, you want to talk? <laughs> you are the one who is wrong. Talking to a hallucination. Talking to a ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> this guy seems to have gone mad. Don't make fun of my ha ha hallucination. Really? You can't tell? Hmm. I remember them being this way originally. Are you still talking to your hallucination? Let's ignore them and keep going. Okay. Julian, this is getting messed up. Yeah. This is, this game is uh, not appropriate for this the game. Really ones. screwed up. You two, what the heck happened? Nothing happened. But you're being, but you're back. Why did you get back? Hey. Now I he's thought, stuttering too. I thought you were going to kill the human. What happened? You're the one. <laughs> I love these guys. What's happening? Get it together. Ah! <laughs> oh no. Holy fuck. You put little pins in your brain? Oh. Julie, be careful. <laughs> You're concerned for my safety? <laughs> Mad rat. What are you doing? That's mean. It's not time to be worrying about being mean. I'm being attacked. What the fuck? Why is this happening? 
This is a, a boss fight. It mm -hmm. is. Cool. I think whoever came up with this might be sick of the mind, you know? <laughs> Real messed up. I am actually a little surprised. Why? That, uh, That's like as violent as it is. As a Japanese game, too, they don't seem to like to do it's that at least kind like, of stuff. It's all very heavily stylized, This though. is Japanese? Yes. But there's uh, there's some stuff in here later on. I think of like the Rat King design and everything. It's yeah. very grotesque, yeah. Yeah. They do some neat stuff. Fuck, no. It's very stylish. Matters, too. What are you gonna do? What do you think that smells like? Those puddles? Not good. You think? I had a hamster as a kid and got and, and his brain exploded. And he, and he had pins in his brain. I don't know how they got there. <laughs> then his brain exploded and I sniffed it up. That's why you're the way you are today, Chris. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> you got punished for saying that. I deserve that, that yeah. <laughs> Oh. I hope there can be more and more and more rhythm games in the future. I know, right? I love rhythm games. Probably my favorite. Would you say? Yeah. I would say they're probably one of my favorites, too. I waited too long. Oh. Um, Rhythm games are my favorite, too, but I don't play them very much because... I would never make one because it would be too hard. As, as you can see, I'm not very good at them at all. You wouldn't have a good time figuring out situations that you could, like... Break down song composition and sync visuals up to it, and, like tie mechanics to it. Um, I could do that. My my problem would be like coming up with good like, I guess ideas per song, like you, visually. You and, do like, something like this. These guys are synchronized dancing right now. Yeah. I bet you could come up with something. I'm sure I could. It's just like right now I wouldn't really be able to. You'd, you'd have to get into that mindset. To keep challenging yourself. I'm glad stuff like this exists, that people are experimenting more with it. What you can get out of something like a rhythm game. No Straight Roads did a lot of that too. It's neat that people are trying to figure out more with uh, rhythm games. It's a genre that I think everybody kind of missed to some extent too. Because you only really had Guitar Hero and Rock Band for a while. Like there was an oversaturated marketplace which kind of got people out. Yeah. But I think that's just because people weren't seeing the other games that also were popping up at the time. People getting more creative than just that. Name some rhythm games you enjoy. Uh, Guitar Man is pretty good. Oh, that's one of my favorites. Uh, it's a shame that it's like, wasn't it only on PS2? There's a PSP port that actually adds some new stuff to it. And it plays a little bit better. But, but like, yeah, that you was can't it. play it. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's that was it. It was a PS2 release, and it was on PSP, and that was it. That sucks. They need to like re they, they need were to release certain things on the PS5. Like there was that Kickstarter for that Rap Rabbit game that they were gonna do, but mm -hmm. it didn't get funded. I love Parappa. Mm -hmm. I love. I was playing Parappa 2 again recently. Parappa 2, I, I, I like it better than. Yeah, one. I think it's really good. It's got really good music and. Uh, the system they figured out for freestyling, like, it got a lot better, <laughs> the way that it works. What's your name? What's your name, fool? <laughs> Did you ever understand how to get into cool when you were playing it? Get into cool? Like, the cool mode that they have, so you just freestyle? I don't remember. They... The first game, you seriously could just, like, button mash to do it, and <laughs> Parappa 2 finally came up with a good rule set. We have it, we could play it if you want. Pull the lever or whatever, right now, right now. Is he best. your favorite? Is That's he... my favorite song. Okay, because I think he's one of my favorites. I like him a lot. Uh, yeah. Julian, who is yours? You like Beard Burgers, right? I do like Beard Burger. I love that, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mentioned it when we were playing Eek. How does the Beard Burger one go again? It tells you to French the fries. Oh, yeah. French, French the fries! It pins his she face down the into <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I love that game. I only played it for the first time when I was like 22. But, really? But uh, I love it. Yeah, when I got it as a kid, I was so happy. It's a lot of fun. I went back to Parappa 1 after Parappa 2, and I'm like, oh, Parappa 2 is better. <laughs> it's, it's still good, uh, though. I don't even know how to describe like the writing and comedy in it, too, because it's all That's very... so weird. Yeah, but it's all like still really entertaining, too. I like, would consider it awkward if not for the fact the visuals are so like janky and stupid it makes it work. No, everything there it ends up working. Like nothing Dude. feels too off about it. It's unusual and, and their like expressions the are phrasing so good. that they use and like some of the dialogue too. Their voices really are all perfect too. I love Parappa's voice. Uh Do you remember what uh what was his name? Colonel Noodle? What was the phrase he said? Like, he slightly got it wrong, and that's the kind of thing I expect from writing in Parappa, is that dialogue is always, like, kind of slightly off in a way. You understand what the characters are saying, but they'll, like, 
use a phrase incorrectly. <laughs> it's always something like that. But it adds to it. It makes it like more entertaining. Prepa 2 is a lot of fun to play through. And the, the two-player mode's pretty fun, too. Isn't like, there's a, there's a lot of neat stuff in that game. Never tried it. Did you ever unlock the different hats? Nope. I feel like an idiot. I only found out recently that there was, uh, there was an additional difficulty I never got to play as a kid, because you have to put in a code to do it. But it's neat. It's neat that you get to go back and play the stages again, and they get to be remixed. Lammy had co-op, which was pretty fun. Uber Jammer Lammer? Mm-hmm. Is she kind of a hot babe? No, she works at Uber now. That's what oh. she does. She gives people Uber rides. Uber and they go, weren't you, weren't you in a game? Uh, what are other good rhythm games? I like B-Money games a lot. I like uh, Dance Dance Revolution. I like Beat Mania. I like poppin' music. Uh, what are some of your favorite rhythm games, Julian? Guitar Man, for sure. Yeah, Guitar Man's a really oh, good shit. one. Space Channel 5. Space Channel 5's a lot of fun. I don't know why I didn't think of that, because, yeah, Part 2's really good. I know there's Space Channel 5 VR now, but uh, I still haven't gotten to try it. I guess part of the reason I could understand rhythm games not being so prevalent right now is because also... Latency. Latency, yeah. Yeah, it's just TVs. Most TVs can't handle yeah. them. That TVs sucks. combined with even some of these new systems, the Switch has some issues with latency on a lot of games. It's amazing they haven't like sorted that out. I remember when I was 13 and I was like their biggest fanboy. Like It was when they were struggling and they were... Remember, it, it kind of seemed like they were going to die for a while, like, while the GameCube was out, because it kind of it failed. It bummed me out a lot, because I actually liked the GameCube a lot when I was younger. No, when I was younger, though, because the GameCube was failing, I was like, It's fucking awesome! Why is nobody playing it? I, it's so weird to look back on, because I bet people don't even remember at this point. When you think of Wind Waker, for example, people compliment that game now. Yeah. Back no, then, but people loathed people it back were then. furious back then. I can't believe that, because... I forget which magazine it was, but I remember the cover showed Wind Waker link it showed mario sunshine it showed metroid prime and it was the big thing where it was kind of complaining like what are all these new decisions nintendo's doing these are <laughs> weird legend of zelda more like legend of zelda what the heck <laughs> that was literally yeah that was people were calling it -play, zelda. Right? they were they were mad about I it i loved how it looked i but still do i love wind waker it's probably got some of the most personality out of any zelda game i, I really love that universe and its art style even though it's like not perfect it's the, i think it's my favorite just because of like the sense of adventure and yeah i don't know it's like, the way everything like moves around like everything has a little bit of like secondary motion like his hat and his clothes and the other characters he'll do things like just look around yeah he'll it, have little things with his face just feels like living and breathing somehow it was a really clever idea because it's also by stylizing it like that it gets to hold up even now looking back at the gamecube wind waker it still looks nice and i just like i got a nostalgia boner for the ocean theme sunshine had some fun ideas but even that people were not happy with that game at the time because it's like why is he cleaning stuff now <laughs> people weren't happy with a lot of those decisions and it's weird to think back to that it's part of the reason you have twilight princess because people really wanted to yeah, have because something it was the pushback of like we want serious and yeah. realistic and Make everything gray. <laughs> but uh, it was real. That was a thing. And it's a shame because the GameCube had a lot of really fun titles on it. You know what was crazy? When I played Wind Waker, when mm -hmm. it came out, I was like, this rocks. And then uh, uh, I think like a year or two later, I, I got the Master Collection. Uh -huh. And I was like 15 or 16 at the time. And then uh, I played Ocarina of Time for the first time. And I, I when I put it in and like looked at it, I was like, this is so dated. Ew. And I was like, this sucks. But then I played it for like half an hour and it was like amazing. I just loved it. I really like something about, uh, I don't know what it is, but something about N64 games that they had to run at such a low frame rate. <laughs> the way that lighting would get handled, the muddy textures because of uh, anti aliasing and everything. Yeah. And just getting. Because that hardware is something weird too in terms of like memory storage, like textures, how they had to be handled, everything like that. So usually something would be a really tiny graphic getting blown up to really, really, really gigantic sizes and it'd look muddy. But uh, I kind of like it. I don't know. There's a charm to it. Some games actually make good use of it. Yeah. I feel like Majora's Mask, for example, that game, uh, I really like the atmosphere in it. I like how the characters look. I like the art direction for it a lot. You know what I'm really starting to like lately is uh, Vertex painted skyboxes. They're nice, aren't they? <laughs> they just somehow look good. I don't know. It's weird. 
Did you ever take notice of that? The sky boxes and like Spyro the Dragon yeah, of those PS1? Are the exact ones I'm thinking yeah, of. Yeah, I couldn't believe they did that because it gets to look really crisp then too. Mm. It's neat that you can do that. Uh, important thing to always know. 20 frames. If your game is running at 60, 20 frames, that's usually the average response time to a visual cue. Some people get that confused and think it's the idea of like that website where the screen goes from red to green and you can test your reflex time on that. That's mm -hmm. not the same thing as breaking apart a visual cue in a game and understanding yeah, exactly what's happening. Yeah, you have to process happening. what you need yeah. to do and everything. Like in a fighting game, for example, if someone's doing an overhead attack to you, you have to understand the concept of that. It's not you just responding to a visual cue. It's you looking at it, breaking it apart, and going, they're in the air and they're about to hit me. So there's more of a process going on with that. Audio cues are a faster response time for people, though. So you can always work those in if you want to have something quick. No. Poor Mad Rat. <laughs> but at least he got a new song. He's having a real shit day, honestly. Too bad he has to keep reliving it, too. Gotta feel bad for the little guy. What do you think of this rat god, Chris? I think she's actually kind of beautiful. She's my type, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> The one, the type that tells you when you're asphyxiating. Yeah. <laughs> Very happily. <laughs> Happens to rats a lot. No. Oh, do you feel any remorse? <laughs> Say, no. <laughs> I understand. You despise being tied down by rules. This lab is dangerous. All those zombie animals roaming around. You can't stay here. You should get outside. No. <laughs> no, I want to stay here anyways. <laughs> Why? Why would you stay here after <laughs> killing everybody? <laughs> all right then, this is uh, all the time we have for now. Goodbye, everybody. It's time to awake. Time to go to it's, school. It's time to awake. I believe in you, little rat. <laughs>